Can I take this home now, Tyler? No. What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are finally doing a houseplant update on my Monstera that I got from Walmart a few years back. For those of you guys who've been following me for a while, you know that I got this plant back in September 2017. I found it at Walmart for $14.98. And it was actually one of my very first plant videos on this channel. I'm gonna link it right here for those of you guys who haven't checked it out. And I was so excited finding this plant. It was pretty much the plant that kind of started this whole crazy plant guy vibe going on. But uh, yeah, I was so happy finding that plant. And I'm gonna show you guys what he looks like near the end of this video. But first, a little bit of a background on this guy. So again, found in September 2017. And for the rest of that year, it grew a lot of new leaves, some with splits, and started to have fenestration on some of them as well. And I'm so happy and so excited because as you guys know, monsters are a very popular plant to many people who are not only into houseplants, but especially those who are looking to style their home because it is such a statement piece with its giant leaves, the splits, those holes in them, the aerial roots, it just looks so cool, right? So yeah, it grew so massive, so big. And entering the 2018 season, it started to really grow a lot bigger. And that's when I started to experiment doing propagation. So I've done a few propagation videos on my monsteras, how to care for it as well. I'm gonna link it here too. And yeah, it was, it was pretty Pretty cool it was amazing I was so happy with it and um, you know entering the 2018 winter season and heading into the 2019 I began to notice that my monstera was starting to become droopy and at first I was thinking maybe it's just a lack of lighting because obviously the winter season and maybe you know it needs to be repotted it's probably root bound and just you know needs to grow and it was definitely root bound I remember that so because I did end up repotting it in like January which technically I shouldn't be repotting plants in winter season but I did it anyway because I was just it was just looking really really sad and I just couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. We're now in like 2019 and then I began to inspect it a bit more because it wasn't like bouncing back after repotting it, after moving it closer to the window to give it a little bit more lighting, after holding back in my water because it was winter season. I began to inspect the plant a bit more and it was noticing like brown spots on the underleaf. And it wasn't like brown spots from overwatering or like a dying leaf. It was like in patches and little dots. And then I inspected a bit more and realized that there was thrips on it. So I began to then do my research, figure out what the hell are thrips, how do you get rid of it? And I attacked it as much as I can to try and treat it. Insecticide soap, you know, my botanical doctor doom spray, and uh, even ladybugs. I put live ladybugs on it to munch on those thrips because they do love thrips and aphides. And um, yeah, I tried my best to do it thinking, hey, I finally got rid of it because I did it for like weeks on end. And, uh, but you know, a plant that size and that massive, it was nearly impossible to get rid of thrips. So what I ended up doing was cut the plant back as much as I can, cutting down all the leaves that had a lot of thrips damage and only leaving a couple. So I cut it all the way to the base of the vine and chopped it off because I knew, you know, through my propagation that when you do cut a vine, it will start shooting up on the side to grow new vines. So I did that in the early summer months of 2019. You know, left the plant outside to try and obviously regenerate it, regrow it, and it started to shoot out some new vines. Uh, at the same time, I was also trying to treat it still with my insecticide soap and whatnot to try and really get rid of the, the thrips. But you guys know if you've ever experienced thrips, it's nearly impossible to get rid of it for good. You're gonna have to constantly treat it like weeks on end for like a few months. But uh, but yeah, it shot out some new vines and I was really happy because the, the leaves were really giant because it was already a pretty large plant and it was so cool. But uh, around September 2019, I did a video on saving my Monstera from thrips and I'm gonna link it right here. And pretty much what I did then was, I just wanted to take a couple cuttings. A couple cuttings of the vine that just started to shoot out. So that's pretty much what I did in this video where I took two vines of cuttings and then I just threw away the mother plant because at that point, there was just no saving it. Chances are there's a lot of thrips on there. And what I did with those cuttings is obviously I treated it as much as I can. And I want to obviously root it in water. And you guys can see here, this is what those cuttings look like. And it was beautiful. It was a nice vine right here, two giant leaves, a couple aerial roots that I also trimmed. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to obviously, you know, try and root it and start over again. And then around that time, my friend was just moving into a new place. He's not really into plants. He was looking for a plant to style in his home. Knowing his sense of style and decor, I knew something like this, a giant, you know, monstera in like water propagating, I would look really cool in his place. So. Me being a nice guy I am and being a good friend, I end up gifting that uh, Monstera over to him. And it's been almost a year since I gave him that Monstera cutting and I'm excited to show you guys how he looks like today. So with the magic of YouTube, we're gonna travel back in time as well as teleport to his place. 
All right, guys, so here it is, the Monstera, the original one from Walmart that I bought in 2017 of September, and I gave this to my buddy as a housewarming gift that I am planning to probably take back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it's obviously grown quite a bit, and what you guys will notice right away first is all these roots that's grown. It's been in water for over a year now, and technically you can grow a Monstera in water forever if you want. The problem with this now is when you are transferring it in soil, it is going to be a little bit challenging. You kind of need to get used to it because it's been in water for over a year now, almost a year. And uh, yeah, look at that root system. It's crazy. It's wild. And you guys can also see here that there's a new aerial root that's grown. If you guys recall, I cut these two aerial roots and they had these two original leaves that were already massive in the first place. And then it shot out this brand new one. And you guys can see it's quite uh, you know, a lot of splits as well as all the fenestration that you guys see there, which are those holes. And it is showing uh, a new growth right now, but the one thing when it comes to Monstera is if you are gonna leave it in water, is expect it to not grow as quickly as it would have been if it was in soil, partly because there's no nutrients right now in the water. So I'm not sure if it actually works if you were to put some liquid plant food in here, if it would actually uh, you know, increase the growth rate on it. But there is a bit of, uh, this leaf right now is showing a bit of a, a pregnant guy. So I don't know, <laughs> I call my plants all guys. And uh, to be quite honest, uh, you know, if you guys do recall the movie Junior, it is a possibility. I'm just kidding. But uh, seriously, though, um, this can probably shoot out a new growth. Probably, we're now in, in August entering this uh, month, and this is probably going to sh start showing up maybe in uh, end of September. But again, you're now entering into kind of the you know the lower season. Light gets a little bit dimmer. It's not as strong, so I don't expect this to kind of shoot up. But you never know. It comes to monsters. You know, oftentimes this is actually a pretty surprisingly growth considering what this guy went through. It got attacked by thrips. Uh, it went through a crazy uh, a dormancy for a bit there. And then now look at it, it's quite beautiful. So next stage for this guy is uh, me taking the home. I'm just kidding. Uh, seriously though, I think what he wants to do with this is gonna leave it here and let it grow. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, so that is a quick update on the original Monstera from Walmart. And you guys can see it's a beautiful uh, piece of specimen. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite plants. Reason being for a lot of people why they like this plant is actually, it, it's aesthetically, it's really, it's beautiful. And you guys can see the way he, he's really styled it in his home, it, it matches, you know, he likes a lot of these uh, statement pieces. And I think that's what the Monstera does for your home. But uh, so there you guys have it. That is how he looks today. And to be quite honest, I am really wanting this plant back. I think it looks amazing, it looks so cool. So I'm trying to find a replacement for him. I'm actually trying to cut and root another uh, Monstera cutting. Uh, because I think for him, he doesn't really care about the plant. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, he, said, he said, you know, go ahead and take it back. But uh, uh, I kind of feel bad doing it, but uh, I do want it back. It has such a meaning and value to me that uh, it's, yeah, so, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I think I'm going to have to give him like a Monstera cutting and maybe a couple of the string of hearts, like a big plant haul package uh, for him to really uh, maybe let that plant go. But yeah, anyway, so that is the update on the Monstera from Walmart. Uh, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. I'm just getting ready Let me be honest I don't know a single thing That I haven't done To make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking Starts ready.